let's talk about macOS. macOS has always been about the fusion of power and simplicity. And with our current release, macOS Big Sur, we introduced a bold new design that gives users more control and huge updates for apps, all while making everything even easier to use. And when combined with the M1 chip, Big Sur delivers unmatched levels of performance and battery life. With people using the Mac more than ever, macOS has become an even bigger part of our daily lives. And our next release is focused on helping you do even more. But what should we call it? Well, that brings us to the latest exploits of our crack marketing team. With their annual vision quest postponed, our merry band of nomadic neighbors wandered aimlessly through the California hills before donning their technicolored wetsuits and immersing themselves in the inspiration of the beautiful rich waters of Monterey. Mac OS Monterey gives you the power to accomplish more than ever and helps you work fluidly across all of your devices. The incredible features we talked about earlier are going to be great for the ways you work on Mac like the new capabilities in FaceTime, which help you look and sound your best while talking to coworkers or friends. With SharePlay, it's just plain awesome to watch movies and shows together on your stunning Mac display, or share an app window as you collaborate on a project. Shared With You offers a totally new way to discover photos, articles, and more that people share with you over messages right in your Mac apps. And when you're working hard on Mac, you can choose a focus that syncs across all your devices, helping reduce distracting notifications so you can get the job done. Plus, Quick Note and Notes give you versatile new ways to capture and organize your thoughts. These powerful features are just fantastic on Mac, and we have even more new features that make it easier to work across all your devices, starting with continuity. Every device we make is powerful in its own way. And when you use them together, you unlock new experiences that feel truly magical. This year, we've created a completely new way to work across your devices with greater precision and speed. And we call it Universal Control. With Universal Control, you can now use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac and iPad for a seamless experience. Universal control is so incredible, you just have to see it in action. Let me show it to you now. I'm putting the finishing touches on an illustration here on my iPad. It's the last piece I need to finish a presentation that I have open on my MacBook. Now, I'll just set my iPad down next to my Mac. And check this out. Without any other setup, I'm gonna simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. How cool is that? And now I can move my cursor back and forth effortlessly between the two. Now it's easy to control my iPad with just the keyboard and trackpad on my Mac. For instance, I can click and close this document and flick on my trackpad to return to my iPad home screen. Of course, I can swipe between my pages of apps, and I can use my MacBook's keyboard to open Spotlight and say, launch notes, and even use Command-Tab to switch back to Procreate. This is really powerful. With universal control, I can even drag and drop files between my devices. I'm just gonna take this drawing I finished on my iPad and drop it on the keynote on my Mac. Awesome. For our pros out there, universal control works with more than two devices. So let's add this iMac into the mix. Now I can use the trackpad on my MacBook to control my iMac as well. I can also switch to use my iMac's keyboard and mouse. And this is so cool. Watch this. Now I have a title text image I've been working on here in Procreate on my iPad. Now I'm gonna take this image and drag it across all three devices and drop it in to Final Cut, just like that. Let's see the final product. Nice. That's a quick look at Universal Control on Mac OS Monterey. Universal Control makes it effortless to move between your devices so you can be more productive and focus your energy on the task at hand. Another way our devices work great together is with AirPlay. 
We all love the way AirPlay lets us watch a movie or share a presentation from your iPhone to a TV, just like that. But there's another screen with its stunning retina display that makes everything you watch simply amazing. That's why we're introducing AirPlay to Mac. It works just like AirPlay today, so it's instantly familiar. You can play, present, and share just about anything. As you draw a sketch on iPad, your colleagues can follow along on the bigger display. And you can even take advantage of any Mac's high fidelity sound by using it as an AirPlay speaker. AirPlay brings your Mac to life in whole new ways. With macOS Monterey, your devices work together like never before, making it more fluid to work across them. And we're not just reinventing how you work between devices, we're also giving you powerful new tools to get more work done on your devices. The Mac has a long, deep history of automation with command line, shell scripts, Apple script, and Automator. And on iOS, we've made automation even easier with shortcuts. Shortcuts take all the taps and swipes you usually need to order your favorite lunch and makes it as simple as tapping a button or asking Siri. Shortcuts is all about helping you get more done faster because you can let your device do the work for you. And this year, we're bringing shortcuts to the Mac. The Mac is, after all, where we turn for so much of our creative work. And now you can automate the everyday stuff to achieve peak productivity. You get access to a rich gallery of pre-built shortcuts designed just for Mac. You can set up a shortcut to instantly share selected files with your friends so they never miss a moment. And with the Shortcuts Editor, you can easily link together a series of actions to design shortcuts for your specific workflows. For instance, if you're a designer, get right to work with a shortcut that opens Pinterest in one window, Affinity Photo in another, and start your favorite playlist in Apple Music all in one click. We've weaved shortcuts throughout macOS, so you can run them no matter what app is open. They're in Finder, Menu Bar, Spotlight, and of course you can ask Siri to run them hands-free. Shortcuts is the future of automation on Mac, and this is just the start of a multi-year transition. Automator will continue to be supported, and you can import Automator workflows into Shortcuts beginning day one. With Shortcuts, there are more ways than ever to create, express yourself, and get stuff done. Finally, we have some really big news about an app that's central to the Mac experience, Safari. We built Safari from the very beginning to provide the best browsing experience on Mac, and it continues to blow the competition out of the water. Safari is the world's fastest browser. It makes navigating even the most complex websites lightning fast. And Safari is known for its legendary power efficiency. On an M1 MacBook Pro, Safari users can get up to 17 hours of browsing. And of course, Safari sets the bar for user privacy on the web with features like privacy report and intelligent tracking prevention. Our users are doing more in the browser than ever before. Work, school, shopping, entertainment. And that often leaves them with a lot of tabs, windows, and other distractions. We think using the browser should feel natural and uncluttered. So we've reimagined the browsing experience. We distilled the toolbar to its essential elements. Tabs are more compact, modern, and lightweight. And there's a completely new way to use tabs with tab groups. They allow you to easily save and manage your tabs without cluttering up your tab bar. I'll hand it to Beth to show it in action. Thanks, Craig. Let's start with Safari's gorgeous new tab design. All of my tabs are right here in the new streamlined tab bar. One of the really cool things that we did this year is we built the search field right into the active tab. Safari is more space efficient than ever and I can see more of the page. I can click on the active tab to see the page's full address and then I can search right from here. Reader is in the tab bar whenever I need it and everything else is right here in the more menu. Check this out. As I switch tabs, the tab bar takes on the color of the site that I'm viewing. So it feels like a part of the page. It looks beautiful. Next, I'm so excited to tell you about tab groups. Tab groups are an easy and lightweight way to save your tabs and pick them back up later. I'll open the new redesigned sidebar, and I have a few tab groups here already. Each of these groups is a whole set of tabs. I use them for meal planning, for news, and for gift shopping. Here in my open tabs, 
I'm planning a road trip to Los Angeles and I'm not done with my research yet. I can save these into a tab group and come back to it later. I'll click the new tab group button and call this Trip to LA. What's so powerful about tab groups is that they're on all my devices. I've got my MacBook here and look, my new tab group is here already. As I make changes to my tab groups, they update everywhere. I'm gonna open a bunch of tabs and my iMac just keeps up. And if I change my current tab, my tab group is always up to date and I never miss a thing. I can't wait to share these trip ideas with my family. And I can just drag this tab group into an email and send it off. Once you start using tab groups, we know you're gonna to wanna to get to them all the time. So we made it super easy to switch from right here in the tab bar. That's the new Safari on Mac. We didn't stop there though. Back to Craig to tell you more. Thanks, Beth. When we were designing the new tab experience, we wanted to build something that worked consistently when you switch from your Mac to your iPhone or iPad. On iPad, the new tabs and tab bar work just like they do on Mac. Tab groups are especially helpful on iPad and the instant syncing means you can continue a project from anywhere. On iPhone, we've done something really special. We took all the thinking that went into Mac and iPad and pushed the envelope even further. For this smaller screen size, we're introducing something that's easier to reach and maximizes the page on screen. The new tab bar appears with just a tap and it's directly under your thumb. And when you scroll, the bar moves seamlessly out of the way. It's now easier and more natural to access your other tabs too. You can just swipe over the tab bar to move quickly between them or swipe up the tab bar to reveal a brand new grid view of all your tabs, plus your tab groups. When you get to the end of your tabs, you can swipe again to open a new one. And the new customizable start page syncs with Mac so you have the same Safari experience everywhere. There's one last feature that we're really excited to share, extensions. Mac users love to deeply customize Safari with extensions like Grammarly, Honey, and Momentum. And now we're bringing web extensions to iPhone and iPad. Just like on Mac, you choose what websites you want extensions to be active on. And developers can easily tap into an entirely new audience because these extensions can share code with existing Safari web extensions. This is a huge year for Safari. A totally new tab design and tab groups simplify your browsing. And Safari is more customizable than ever with the new start page and extensions on iOS and iPadOS. And with that, we have macOS Monterey. It's a fantastic release with great new features that help Mac users do more than ever. You can work across Mac and your other devices using universal control and AirPlay to Mac. It's easy to get productive and creative using shortcuts and the totally new design for Safari, along with incredible features like SharePlay, Shared With You, Focus, and QuickNote. We do have more we'd like to talk about, but first, let's get out of here.